In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save uh, an Excel file as a CSV with the use of VBA. Now, there's great advantages to using CSVs. They're smaller, they're compacter, they're easy to handle. Now, there's, so if you have a, an Excel file, with a whole, whole pile of data, I have 25 names here that I've taken from the random name generator. And, um, and so I'm assuming that if you, this is an emergency contact list, and if you were um, dealing with um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people and possibly their phone numbers and that type of thing, you were, your file would be big and hard to handle, hard to email, that type of thing. So I'm going to click this button called Save a CSV. I've got uh, my file folder open that I have on the desktop, and this is where I'm going to save this. And so let's press this button. And there you go. Here's my emergency call uh, CSV file. And so there it's saved already. And if you double click it, you get very much the same, the same folder or same information as you had on the, the last one. So let me show you how I did this. So let me just close this one. So here's my code. Um, I call it sub CSV save dim um, string full name as a string and um, application display loops false so it's not going to give me any warnings and so now I have string full name uh, and this is the path to my uh, to my folder on my desktop so let me show you how I did this and so what we're going to do is we need to um, we need to just it doesn't have to be this one but you need to select a file in your or a, a file in your folder, and what you're going to do is you're going to go copy path. And so when we go back to our code, so I'm just going to go underneath here, and I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to put my my path in here. And so basically, what you would do is you take off this and re replace it with the emergency call list CSV, and uh, and there, there's your, your path exactly as if we have it here. So, so that's how you get your path. So I'm just going to put a comment in front of this so that it doesn't, um, doesn't do that. Okay, so now, so we, we define our path. So this is our path plus a uh, plus sign and then backslash and emergency call this CSV. This worksheet, um, the name of the sheet, it could be sheet one, whatever it is, and we're going to copy it. Active sheet, save as file name, string full name, so it's telling you. File format equals Excel CSV, create backup equals true, active workbook close, application display alerts equals true. And so now the other thing that everybody keeps asking me is um, when I have a button on my uh, sheet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this button. I'm going to right click this button and I'm going to cut it. And now I'm going to make a new button. And so I'm going to go, I'm on the developer tab. I go to this toolbox here. I select the button from here and I put it on my page here. Now it's asking me what I want to hook to this button and I'm going to go CSV save and I'm going to say OK. And now to change the, the text here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click there and then I'm going to delete this, the words that are on there and I'm going to go um, save CSV. Okay, so that is how I've created this save CSV for, for creating CSVs from Excel files. I will, of course, include all the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.